Margaret Tolbert is a pioneering black female biochemist. Her research on signal transduction in liver cells was among the first to show that certain biochemical responses could occur very quickly without the need for RNA or protein synthesis. This work contributed to a deeper understanding of how cells respond to external signals. She became the first black person and black woman to lead a U.S. Department of Energy lab, the New Brunswick Laboratory, from 1996 to 2002. Margaret was born in 1943 in Suffolk, Virginia. Growing up in a segregated Virginia, she lost both parents while still young. She went to Tuskegee University for her undergraduate degree, where she initially intended to study medicine but was drawn to chemistry. She earned a Master of Science degree in analytical chemistry from Wayne State University in 1968. After a brief return to Tuskegee to teach and supervise chemistry projects, she moved to Brown University for her PhD in biochemistry, focusing on the biochemical processes in liver cells. She completed that in 1974. Post-PhD, Margaret returned to Tuskegee in 1979 as the first female director of the Carver Research Foundation and served as the university's provost. Here, she continued her research on the effects of drugs on the human liver. She conducted some of her research at several other prestigious institutions, including Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, the University of Texas Medical School at Houston, and the Army Research Institute of Environmental Medicine between 1974 and 1985. In 1987, she joined British Petroleum's Research Department, where she was involved in strategic planning during the merger of BP and Standard Oil of Ohio. In 1996, she accepted the directorship of the New Brunswick Laboratory, focusing on nuclear materials standardization and security against the spread of nuclear technology. Margaret later served on U.S. presidential committees and worked as a senior advisor at the National Science Foundation.